You can catch the coverage of the royal wedding right here on CBS 11 beginning at 3 a.m. Saturday morning. Well, there's a lot more to becoming a royal than you might think, from adopting a code of etiquette to passing a UK citizenship test. American actress Meghan Markle's got a lot on her plate. CBS's Charlie Daggett reports. I'm Meghan. How are you feeling? Falling in love with a prince was the easy part. But the moment Meghan Markle slips on that ring, her royal highness takes on the role of a lifetime. I love the way when she was interviewed, she kept talking about the role. Journalist Alistair Bruce is also a family friend of the royals. And to understand being a part of the royal family and therefore serving the queen mm. as a role is a huge advantage. I think she's going to be great. But being great demands a mastery of protocol and perfect etiquette. For starters, who to curtsy to? She curtsies for the Queen, Prince Philip, Prince Charles, Duchess Camilla, and William and Kate. Princess Alexandra, yes. Michael of Kent, no. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, yes. Unless Prince Harry is in the room, in which case Meghan pulls rank and they curtsy to her. Welcome to the royal court. Former royal butler Grant Harold remembers his first introduction into that world. You very much become an ambassador. You're told that from that day forward, everything you say and do reflects, which is true. Uh, now, that's for, for somebody like myself. For somebody that's actually married the family, I mean, very much, the, it's more than an ambassador. You know, you're part of it. And that means some changes. No more selfies, no more autographs, all these kind of things. She's got to stop because royals don't do autographs. They're not celebrities. And that's a rule. And that's a rule. And she'll have to pass one test, even immigration lawyers call insanely complex. For Meghan Markle, it'll take more than just marrying a prince to become British. She plans to gain her citizenship, and that will mean taking the life in the UK test. It covers everything from literature to politics to, yes, gardening. It's one of the country's most popular pastimes in Kew Gardens, one of its most famous botanical spaces home to the most diverse collection of living plants in the world. I would so fail all of those <laughs> tests. And that was Charlie Daggett reporting. Markle is also going to have to know the ins and outs of British arts and culture, government, and history. I'm guessing she